So this goes like this. Um, that there wasn't any uh, command or a judgment giving from the heavens down to the generation or down to the earth. That it couldn't completely cancel. That it's been written. That God is governing men. And who is governing, governs uh, Hashem, who is governs God, supposedly, Tzadik, the righteous one. That the God is the one that giving the command of the judgment um, or the decree, and the righteous person have the ability to cancel what God says what God commanded on the earth. Um, and then they give an example. Kegon Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai, like Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai, the Yom Achad Havayativ Abba Badetar Adelud, that one day Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai was sitting on the door of the gate of the city of Lut. Now, this, as it is, it's also... It, it's, it's already very in, interesting how Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai is not sitting near the door, is not sitting uh, after the door, is not sitting where the door is, is not sitting in the gate. He's sitting on the door of the gate as if he is the gatekeeper, as if he is the one that responsible for whatever this gate will decide to, to reveal. Uh, sitting on the door of the gate of the city of Lod, Herimenav, he uplifted his eyes and he saw that the sun is, is bright, revealing its light, and then hiding its light, and then revealing its light again, hiding its light again, revealing again and hiding again, that the sun was revealing and hiding its light three times in a row. Meanwhile, it, was, it became darker, Dark, the world became darkened um, and he saw within the sun um, the colors black and green. And he told his son, Rabbi Elazar, come after me, my son, he told him. That there is for sure a command was given from the above realms to this world, and God was uh, kind enough, or He wanted me to know what's going on. He He came to to announce this command that He gave, this judgment that He gave from above. And the fact that the sun was revealing its light and hiding its light three times, that means that it's probably 30 days before this judgment, before this command of the heavens will be revealed here on earth. It's not a good judgment. It's not a good command. It is obviously something that darkens the world, um, we can see. So he's asking his son, Rabbi Elazar, come after me and we will see because Hashem wants to to to. He wants me to know about whatever he is commanding above because he wants me to do something about it. Here is his role. He's, he, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, as a leader that has a role to defend the generation, to defend the people living with him. Vela um, Avid Kuchabrichu, he tells it to his son, he tells it to Rabbi Elazar, um, that. God does not do anything before he announced his intentions to the righteous people. That um, in Amos, they give a sentence from Amos um, that Hashem would not do anything um, before he reveals his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Adav was lay, so... 
We have here Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, Rabbi Elazar, his son. They are witnessing or having this, uh, they could see, Rabbi Shimon could see the sun um, revealing its light and, and darkened for three times. He decides that there is some sort of um, a bad judgment coming to the world that Hashem wants to to announce this toward to him, to the righteous men in the generation. So they are... Um, so Rabbi Shimon and Rabbi Elazar now are going and they are in a vineyard. Adav was leya lo be'ahu kerem. Chamu chad chivya. And they saw this snake. A snake always in the Zohar comes as a... Um, as a warning sign. They saw a snake, Ufumei Pticha, Umelahata Be'ar Abe'afra, and his mouth, the mouth of the snake is open wide, and is, um, he's burning from the, um, from the, the dust of the land. Ishtanik Rabbi Shimon, Rabbi Shimon, um, Itna'er, he's like, he, um, he tried to 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 understand what's going on, and he hit um, with his hand uh, the snake's head, and he told him, and he told him, snake, snake, chivya chivya, zil ve'ema go and say to the chivya of above. We must remember that in the Zohar. Concept, perception of the world. There is the world that we see, there is the world here, and there are other worlds above. There are actually seven worlds and seven, um, seven earth, earths, seven skies, but there are also certain amount of worlds. And whatever is happening here in the reality of humankind also happens in the reality of the spiritual uh, heavenly realms of above. So this snake that came to them was only um, a, re, um, uh, a lower manifestation of something which, that have much more uh, with, 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 with great danger from above. And so he says, um, he saw the, that the mouth of the snake is full with fire and he tells the snake, Chivya Chivya, snake, snake, Zel ve'eimala go and say to that snake of the above, again, because this snake is only a small manifestation of the bigger snake that is above. Because in the Zohar, the world is, there is the, the, the purified and the, and the not, there is the good and there is the bad, there is the side of the, of the pure, and of the righteous, and there is the other side of the evilness and of the unpure. And so this snake is, is just as much as the snakes. The snake was there from the beginning of the creation to challenge men. There, the snake of above is there constantly, all the time, trying to challenge humankind. So by Rabbi, the fact that Rabbi Shimon is talking to this small snake in his hand, he's actually referring to the snake, the upper snake, the, the, the greater manifestation of this snake up in the sky. So go and say to this upper snake, he says to the snake, um, that Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai is in the world. Rabbi Shimon ben Yochai be'al mashchich, that Rabbi Shimon bar Yochai is here. And the snake ran away, put his head back in the, in the, um, in the ground, in a hole in the ground, and, and disappeared. And Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai said, I'm saying to you now that just as this small snake in the lower realms returned to his dust, so will be that the same thing will happen with the upper snake. He will return to the great abyss of which he came from. And then later on, uh, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai was davening um, with his son uh, Elazar, Rabbi Elazar, and they heard a voice. Um, uh, the voice said, like the, the ones that are responsible for death, 
come into your place, gather here, gather around, because the, the, the danger will not be anymore in this world. Why? Because Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai canceled the degree, canceled whatever had to be happened. This is Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. This is his great characteristic.